Okay, I'm cleaning this up and uh, using some acetone on a paper towel. And when you think this is clean, it ain't until you wipe it with something. So it just keeps coming off and coming off. I've washed it and washed it and scrubbed it. But you got to go over the whole thing over and over until this starts coming out clean. Everything got to be clean, man. Clean, clean. Messy Marvin. All right, so now I got the barrel cleaned up. I went through that with like three blue shop towels to clean all these grooves, get everything out. Um, so my plan is, is to grease up the O-rings, start at the bottom, work up, and uh, get them all in there and then tip this over and put it inside there. One. One down, nine to go. So, that went in way too easy. So, the question is, were those O-rings big enough and tight enough? And I can't answer that. Maybe I'll send this video to Andy, see what he says. All right, so I got two spools in so far. And... So what I do is I assemble them with my valve spring compressor and instead of these big thick square rings they sent me these so what I did on this one I'm going to do it to this one I don't know if you can see that so I've doubled up I put the small one in first and then the big one over it and but on this one i think i'll put the big one on first and then the small one over it so i got a kit over here with snap rings and i just found some i think somebody suggested to me that that's what i needed to do and they were right that's what i should have done all along was just use this used a couple of them so I got to get this thing compressed. So these are wobbled out in the middle pretty bad. They're kind of egg shaped. I don't know why. Not the best looking thing in the world. Anyway, you got one that goes on like this. 
and then the spring, and then this. And then very carefully what I do is, you know, I really ought to do it on the bench here is what I ought to do, but I just get it in here, lay it down like that, and then get the, stay there, stay there, stay. Stay. Do like that. And then you gotta get that piece to go into this dealio here. There we go. There we go. And then I just bring it over in the vise and hang it. So we'll put the big one on first. Methinks. He's got more area on him. Well, that was sort of on, sort of, but not. Once you get your tips down in here, it gets really hard to get a hold of that. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Everything's in. Push that one down all the way on the shoulder. Then get my other one, put him on. I turn him 180. All right, so now I got to do is undo it. Take this out. It's awesome to have tools like that around. It's kind of hard to get by without them, you know. Voila! And there you have it, boys and girls. These are the plates that go on there and I've got to get these out because I'm going to have to go in there with a screwdriver and turn these to screw the cable in on the other end. But first I'm going to go get one more snap ring and put in that hole. I may have to take that back out and yeah, I know I will. I'm going to have to compress it so it'll go down the slot. So I've been uh, putting these covers on and putting these deals in. They have a seal in them. So two of them, I've had to take the grinder to these flanges and grind them down because it's a seal in there and they put like a washer on there and then they take something and smash this over to hold the washer in and this is backwards it goes screws in this way with the o-ring here goes inside this bore but if you don't make sure that they go in nice and easy I mean I, I ground the one flange off where it had a high spot because it wouldn't go all the way in but then it would get really hard so they're not concentric with the threads so I'd have to grind both flanges down and then once you can get them to screw all the way in like that, that's, that's where they got to be. So it seems like this thing wants to fight me at every turn. Even, and that's the way it is with everything anymore, you know what? You buy brand new stuff and it won't go together. And you, you have to check and make sure that it fits. Sometimes you go and you put it together and you find out it won't work. Now you got to disassemble it and start all over. And then this goes in here like this. And you can't turn it in by all the way by hand. So what you got to do is very carefully take a really good pair of pliers and get these, hold of these threads. Don't pinch too hard, but at the same time, don't let it slip and then it just goes right in bottoms out bottoms up man so now we just got to put this nut on it to lock it and the reason you got to lock it is that cable goes in here and you have a lock nut on the cable to lock against this Okie dokie, got her assembled, got the O-rings in it, got the new plugs in there. Um, if you remember, the old plugs were pretty rotten looking, so I didn't want a problem with those. I have, so far, 
pretty much everything ready to go except I haven't got this problem solved so Monday today's Sunday so Monday I may be looking around at machine shops to see what they could do for me like Brian was telling me if I can find somebody that has a scanner deal and then they could program in the computer what that is hello Mr. Griffey went AWOL. He's down to Jake's. And Mama couldn't find him. She thought he came back to the house, but I went out and whistled for him. He didn't come. So anyway, tell me what to do with this. I just really think O-rings would be the way to go. So Winter came back last night, this morning. Holy moly, yesterday was sunshiny and warm. It's putting down some moisture. This is heavy, heavy wet snow. I'm out of breath because I drugged the garbage can clear from the road with stuck wheels. <laughs> ah. All right, so been working on the crane. This valve here um, basically it has this deal in there and what it does is it opens the piston up and if you raise the boom up and or extend out and your load's too heavy and it reaches 1500 psi over 1500 it will start to let this oil out and i think it it exhausts it somewhere anyway the boom slowly comes down till the load is back down to its rated pressure which is kind of dangerous seems like to me but whatever anyway got that all together there i don't know if i showed you that or not so moving along uh called cherry picker parts to get the o-rings for the rotary valve uh anyway i told him i put 200 series o-rings in it goes no that won't work they're a 90 duro o-ring that goes in there and it's a 243 series never heard of that maybe andy has i haven't talked to him about it but i'm gonna take that apart and put those o-rings in when i get her back so and the other thing i did is i went and had some new hoses built for up in there and then i took one of the ends off the old ones cut the sleeve off pulled the hose off and i went and got this clear hose so this is going to bolt to the top of the cylinder and come out here and we'll put it in a barrel and then as we raise it it's going to push all that old oil out and get rid of it so because that's a lot of oil in there and that would really contaminate all your new oil so anyway that guy at cherry picker parts is super helpful uh tells you what you can and can't get for these uh, told me i can get the guts out of the barrel if i want or remove the whole barrel all i have to do is raise the boom all the way up and then he said get a piece of three inch thick flat bar rectangle bar whatever square bar and put it up there and under the boom to hold it and let your suck your cylinder back in undo your pin and you can take it up out of there so that's awesome anyways just more than willing to help me and they seem to stock a lot of the parts he knows what the o-rings are uh damn glad i found them got mr griffey out here well you know buddy he's been gone all day so he's gonna have some jeff time and some shop time don't you are you ready to go home? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, can you sit? Sit. Hey, sit. 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 That's a good boy. Shake. That's a good boy. All right, we'll go. <sighs> so it was snowing like crazy here this morning. And then it warmed up. 
and everything melted. Can't see out here. And now it's blowing. Okay, now I can't see my buddy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Griff? Okay, been out in the shop. <clears throat> Mr. Griffy's out here. Looking for bones. He's hidden all over. Have you found any? I know you got one over here somewhere. Where is it? Where's the bone? I think he buried it in somewhere in one of these boxes. Anyway, he makes me find him. I don't know what he did with it. It's in there. I ain't never going to find it. Where is it, buddy? What'd you do with it? I don't know. I'm not dumping that box out to find it. Anyway, I've been out here trying to... Hey, shush. Been out here trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Found an outfit in Aberdeen that could cut the grooves. But somebody suggested I use square cut O-rings. Just cut these out and put them in. And that would be easy. So I got to go find some square cut O-rings for this. Okay, kids. So Jeff had to wash all these pipes again because I had to take these ends and break them loose with a hammer, clean all the crud up, clean the face of them off, dig the O-rings out of the other end, clean all that up, and wash them again. So they're all hanging here to dry. And then I had to clean a bunch of these again, especially the small one. It had a lot of junk in it half plugged up so I had to undo it and run a wire in there and scrape and scrape and wash and wash so I guess I really didn't have all that stuff ready to go but I do now I promise you so I've been underneath uh, put the hose tie downs back on those metal lines and the rubber ones under there uh, zip tied up the rubber ones that are in there so they're away from this big line that's going to go in there i took the tie down that ties down this metal pipe off and that other big one i'm pretty sure is supposed to run through there and i'm not sure what we got going on here if that's ben or if that's i don't know <laughs> anyway uh what else have i done so I, oh, I ordered a square O-ring kit uh, so I can start cutting those O-rings out of that plate gasket. And that's going to be here Thursday, I think. And then my O-rings from Cherry Picker Parts for the swivel valve aren't going to be here till Friday. So I'm thinking about loading up the steering cylinder and the outrigger ram and heading over to napa and get them over to uh, andy so he can start working on those anyway i see the sunshine's out outside now it's been raining all day first we had a wicked snowstorm and it piled it up deep and wet then it rained and melted it so I got to turn the air compressor off. I turned the furnace down. Let's see. I got to go check the salt. The oh, I left. I bet I left the lid up on the. Nope, I didn't. I put the lid down. But I got to go check. And make sure I turned the power off to it. I always make sure that everything's off. And I put this rocker switch cord in here to kill the power to this. Cause that's live voltage going inside of a bomb so we always make sure to turn that off turn the furnace down so anyway i'm gonna go in the house i really just don't know what else there's there's some small things i can do to this uh the wire to the fuel pump broke when i was working under there so i need to replace that for some reason my glow plugs quit working uh when i before I brought it in the shop. So I've got to 
problem there. They just got no voltage to them. They just up and quit. So I got to figure that out. But so that's what I'm doing is just little stuff trying to get ready to go back together. Anyway, so this is the project that never ends. Never in my life did I think that this thing would be in here this long. I'm getting super, super sick of it. <laughs> but I'll win. I'll kick its ass. So I'm over in Napa. That's uh, Advanced Machine Hydraulics. I just dro dropped off my cylinders to Andy. Took me to lunch. So I am headed back home. It's 282 miles over here. So another long drive back. But I should have done this two weeks ago. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not getting it done. parts list for some stuff I needed it and order it there and see if it was in see what they had pick it up there and then the rest of it uh, if it had to come in from the warehouse pick it up at my dealer in Pocatello so interesting story back in 2020 I went to Con Expo and the salesman that sold me the 336 took me to Con Expo. And he got me tickets to the Caterpillar Customer Appreciation Party, which is always at Caesars. And boy, does Caterpillar put on a good customer appreciation party. Uh, prime rib, all kinds of hoardy bores, hors d'oeuvres, <laughs> open bars, uh, music entertainment, and so I ended up going to the party with my PSSR, which is the product sales support representative and another salesman and the part
already got kind of loud so we went out in the hallway and we're talking and here come a guy in a suit and a tie and they introduced me and he was in upper management at western states he was from, from here in the boise meridian area and he asked me how western equipment was treating me and i says oh they're doing treat me good got no complaints uh, of course I had some complaints but I I didn't feel that was proper to turn the conversation negative but the two guys from my dealer said no tell him about your 1693 and I said are you sure and I said yeah uh, tell him so I told him the story so here's the story so I wanted to get that block decked so I could get working on old Kenny, get the motor together. And my dealer, Western States Cat Pocatello, had just built a brand new $25 million facility. And they now had the capability, they had a machine shop, they had the capability of decking blocks. So I I called a good friend who's worked there forever. He's been he's always been really good at supporting me. Matter of fact, at one time they were going to give me all the parts to build that engine for half cost. And anyway, I ended up not doing it. And that's a long story. There's, there's a story behind why none of this got done anyway, but I'll just let that lay for right now because I I, just, I don't want to badmouth the person who started the ball rolling and I, you know he tried he tried to help me anyway. So I called this guy and I said, hey, I want to get my deck blocked but I want to film it and then if you'd like when I put the video on Facebook Facebook allows me to boost that post and I can target uh, Western States equipment their uh, their territory and then it also lets me target specific industries so I could target uh, diesel shops, heavy equipment, farm, trucking, all that stuff and then I said and if just to show people that you have the capability to do this and then if you wanted to see if this worked for you you could do like a coupon code uh, if somebody calls and uses a coupon code jpader510 whatever they get 5% 10% off and then that way they'd be able to track if advertising through social media was a good fit and he really liked the idea and he says well I'm gonna have so-and-so call you so so and so called me and I explained that all to him but I don't really think he understood any of it so then he was going to have another guy call me and he never called I ended up trying to call him but he was on a snowmobiling trip and I said that's fine I'm in no hurry when you get back call me well he must have got the idea that it was a 911 and I needed it. I was going to need this right away. Or he he just wanted to make sure that I got taken you know that I got taken care of. And so I got a call from the weld shop foreman. And he said I understand you got a 1693 block you want decked and they said yeah but I want to film it 
because I think my viewers would like to see that process um, makes good content for me so and he said well it takes seven hours so right away I knew he was trying to tell me something and so I said well everyone I've ever had done before it took longer to get it in the truck out of the truck in the machine than it did to actually do it I said so what's this gonna cost and he said uh, it's a flat rate and I said so what's what is it gonna cost he said seven hundred dollars and I thought well that's that's three times what I normally pay anybody else to do it but because it's my cat dealer so the GoPro died so let me go back here um, so I told the guy in the suit at Con Expo that whole story he said he'd get back to me uh, the social media guy I also told him he wouldn't talk to me refused to take a call so he said he'd, he'd find out what was going on and get back with me well today's what February 7th 2024 this all took place uh, in March of 2020 well, I, I never heard anything from him he never said anything not a word I follow Western states on Instagram and they had a post on there about how they always make sure that a customer's equipment is equipped correctly for whatever he's doing and that just kind of stuck in my craw because of what happened with my 336 so I did something I shouldn't have done and I made a comment on there that when I bought my 336 and you know the story uh, it got ordered with the longest stick the long reach boom and the lightest counterweight and I said you guys wouldn't do F all about it well so the social media people called the sales manager and I'm sorry I'll go back and erase that right now and I said I shouldn't have done it don't worry about it and the whole story about how the media people won't talk to me and so he's like well I'll talk to him and see if uh, they want to work with you and I said no I said I don't want to become a social media influencer and get paid or whatever to blow smoke up people's ass so to speak on behalf of Western equipment all I want to do is deck my block and film it that's it and so he talked to him and I never heard anything back never heard anything back finally I called him and he said those guys haven't called you and I said no they're not gonna call me they went through your social media and they said that Western States equipment does not want to hitch their wagon to J pay dirt in any shape or form so basically they said to tell me this and I just kind of hung up the phone after the conversation and I thought God you know what is what is wrong with you people so that's why part of the reason old Kenny didn't get done I'm just gonna have to go somewhere else to get it decked I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to buy the parts and I don't even go down there anymore I go I send Matt I I just I've had it uh, and it's, it's quite depressing to go from where I used to love them and they used to just bend over backwards and that's how you're successful I mean they really help you to be successful anyway not so much anymore I I don't know what's happened 751 on a Thursday evening Should have done this two weeks ago. I think I already said that, didn't I?
Yep. Alrighty. Well, you guys have a good evening. I'm going in the house. Alright. So I got my new DJI camera. Mr. Griffey's out here pestering me. So I need to do something with this thing. I bought some square O-rings. Let's have a look. See, I guess I don't have to yell at you anymore because I got a I got a microphone on my lapel, so no more yelling at you. Right, Mr. Griffey? Right. So I need a God, what size was this gonna be? Not that one. Okay, so it looks like a 22, which is equivalent to 22, to a 221. So it's Friday, I'm out here in the shop. I just didn't want to do anything today. I just didn't feel like it. So that's why you don't have a video at three o'clock. All right, so here we go, I'm ruining it. No going back now, boys and girls. I'm cutting the O-ring out and there's nothing you can do about it. Sweet, okay, that one's toast. Gotta drop down a size here, like that. How's that? How's that, man? Woohoo! So anyway, that one fits in there good. That's probably the size I need to use. Other than when you take it out and you set it over the hole. Of course, the other ones were the same way. I mean, it's, I don't know. What do you think? That should work, shouldn't it? Now, the other ones kind of had some metal showing. So that's the problem is you got one size is too, this size is too big and this side's a little on the small side. But with it all pinched tight in there, what's it gonna do? All right, so I've got, I got this square O-ring kit so I can get that done. And I have the O-rings for the rotary valve. So here's what I'm gonna do for you kids. I'm gonna go in the house and finish this video. Uh, how's, I don't see any black lines in this. This is 4K, 50 frames a second. I don't see any black lines. So let's see what's going on outside, but Mr. Griffey's still out here. Nope, he gone. It was snowing a minute ago. It'll probably start again. So anyway, I'll go in and finish this video and get it uploaded to you. And then as soon as I get that valve in and get smoke coming out of this, I'll just make the video and show you. Cause I can't wait to get it out of here. I hope I'm not, I hope next week, whatever video I got, isn't me still in this damn shop. Unfortunately, It'll be a while before Andy gets the cylinders done, but I'll just fold that one outrigger up, block off the lines, and out the door we go. I don't, well, I gotta have a steering cylinder. Balls, I'm gonna have to have that steering cylinder. So, we'll probably be working on the 336. So, you guys have an awesome weekend. All right.